Hey, boy. First hunt of the year, dude. Oh, yeah. Zach drew himself a nice elk tag here, early season in July. So we get to start our season early. Drag it out with your bare hand. I'm excited to see how that load hauler works. Load me up. And we got Matt here. Matt here means we're gonna kill something big, real big. Is he the good luck charm? Yeah. Whenever, whatever he pulled out of there. Is that a little rock? It was that a little rock, dude. In there? I told you he, when he pulled that out, that lucky rock. You don't know what you're in for. Where'd that rock come from? Can't tell you. We'd have to kill you. Ah, uh, <laughs> good. Well, don't tell me that. <laughs> it will, though, make you kill an elk. Dude, heard of elk right there. All those, those black, you don't see them? I was like, <laughs> I was like, I see a lot of cows. I was like, I don't know where So what they're doing is the elk during the day are just working their way up into those canyons, those cedars, coming out, working out, dropping out the straw, pop back up. So now we're just finding a nice little spot to set up. We'll probably back up a little bit in case they cut this way. Yep. We can see both valleys. If we can make a move, we can make a move, or we can just let them come to us if we can get on that trail that they're on, so. Sure. Hopefully get a good shot. Not a crazy wind today, so. We should be able to reach out there a little longer if we have to. See if we can not get struck by lightning last year. Looks like there might be some storms rolling in. Just make end of the excitement. I know. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely where, I mean, we, there was the trails back over there. You can see them come around the side. Oh. Yeah. And then you can we're, tell, I mean, these are all fresh. I mean, right there. Right. The, yeah, all along. Working down to that bottom where they're feeding down on that private land down there. Yeah. That's sweet. Definitely. I mean, the other ones you could tell were elk trails, but they weren't as they weren't heavily used like used this like one. this. Yep. Cool, man. Let's just work down, get on top of this next ridge. That way, if they are cutting this way, we can just make the shot from up there. Right. Plus, our wind will be better than two. Our wind's pushing away from them. Yeah. Cool, dude. We just got done filming this interview. We take three steps. We look to our left, and there's a big, big, big herd of elk 500 yards away here. Holy bejeepers, dude. There's got to be 50, 60 elk in there. Yeah, those were elk. <laughs> Wide out in the open. It's a lot of eyes. I counted like 73, 74 elk in there. Yeah. On a quick count, 70-ish. Dude, let's just let's just cut back. We can try to get up behind him here. We still have good wind, and we'll see if we can put a sneak on and get like a couple hundred yards away. Sounds worst case, me. worst case doesn't happen. We come back. We'll come here. back and we have all those trees for them to come out of. So yeah, if there's any left in there, we'll just wait and see. I think it's a good plan. Yep, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. I know. We just had to make a move. We spotted this herd of, you know, 70 plus elk in a spot that we weren't expecting. We were expecting to be bedded up in some cedars and they're just out in the wide open. The hardest thing about this prairie tag is they're out on the prairies getting on. So luckily there's a lot of bluffs, but they're, they're getting close to where we can't hunt. So we gotta just maneuver around and try to get in a spot where they're shootable for us. So let's see what we can do here, Zach. Ready to do this, dude? Ready to get it? This is awesome. It's July, get to hunt elk. Sweet. Right up on the hill. Ready, Matt? I 
I saw one. You'll be able to see one. Be make careful when you come across Matthew. I saw one kind of in the V as we cross between the hill here. But yeah. So anyway, if we go back like about 10 yards, I could see one popping up on top of the hill. So I think if we just work up to that, just at the tip of the knoll, and then instead of going on the side, of the then pop things, up. I can see one already. I think we might be able to get one out of there. Yeah. Okay. To have your hunts professionally filmed to capture memories for a lifetime, email me at jordan at run2gun.com for rates and availability.